When I'm working on a mapping project, it's pretty typical of me to start in ArcMap here and gather all of my data together and then export the various vector and raster elements to Photoshop or Illustrator for the final map assembly. And I found that when I would create my hill shades in ArcMap and then export them to Photoshop, I'm not getting the image quality that I would either expect or like. And I've recently come across a new way of doing this that it gives me a much better image and I wanted to share that today. So right now I've got a digital elevation model, a DEM, of the portion of the state of Oregon, and I've got values that range from approximately sea level at zero feet to the top of Mount Hood here at 11,000 feet. And this is a 10 meter DEM, so each pixel measures 10 meters on the side. From that I've rendered out a standard hill shade, this is at 315 degrees, and I'm going to zoom into Mount Hood here. And you can see one of the problems that I have is that the hill shades kind of emphasize shadows and highlights quite a bit. So I've got compressed shadows here where everything is kind of muddy to dark, and then I've got every, and then I've got the uh, sunlit slopes are a lot of times they're blown out here. So it's a pretty high contrast hill shade that gets rendered out in ArcMap. And if I were to export this, typically in the past I've just generated my page layout here, and I'm going to move this a little bit so we get a better image here. Okay, I like that. So in the past I've gone through and I've set up my document, so this is an 800 pixel square document, and I've gone up to the file menu, export map, and then I've just exported this as a raster element, so I would just change it to either a PNG or a TIFF file, I'm going to leave it on PNG at 300 dpi, and save that out. Okay, so that's saved out. So if I switch into Photoshop here, and I'm going to open this up in Photoshop, we can see that I get the image exactly as it was presented in ArcMap with the dark shadows, the blown out highlights, and one of the other problems is that if I zoom in here, you'll see what ArcMap had to do to get that 300 dpi, which is pretty arbitrary. Uh, you'll see that it kind of messed up the pixel structure of my document. Let me zoom in to about here. You'll see that it's kind of, you got large pixels, you got small pixels, like right in here. Uh, where ArcMap had to kind of interpolate some of the data in there. So it's not increasing the, the, the size of our data, it's just kind of interpolating what it sees in order to get that 300 dpi. So this is the image that I've been working with. Uh, it takes a lot of post-processing in Photoshop to get a workable image from this with our shadows so dark and our highlights so bright. So I'm going to take you through a different way we can do this, and I'm going to go back into ArcMap here. And I found that instead of going to the file menu and exporting your map, there's a way that you can just export the data just in the data frame here and then work with the raw data. So I'm going to take you through that. But one of the things that I, one of the problems that I've had with this is that sometimes when you're going through this process, ArcMap just exports a tiny little sliver of what I was expecting. And in order to mitigate that, I found that if you just turn on a vector layer on top that covers the entire area, uh, ArcMap will export the entire uh, TIFF file. So I'm just going to turn on, say, let's turn on our water features vectors on top of that. So now if I go into my hill shade, and I'm going to work with this 315 degree hill shade, right click, go to the data menu, and then export data. This is the way we're going to do it. So if I go into our extend, I want to change this to the data frame, which currently is going to be our print layout data, data frame. This is the 800 pixel square image back here. We'll notice that it's going to be a 16-bit file, which gives us a much greater range of grayscale values. And if I were to turn on Use Render, you'll see that that turns down to an 8-bit file. So that would use the render as it was showing here on the screen. So I don't want to do that. I want to export the full 16-bit grayscale range. So I'm going to turn Use Render off. And you can turn on square pixels, but you can see that the 10-meter DEM is 32.8 feet on a side. So that's where these two values are coming from. And you can see that it's square already, so turning this on or off doesn't really make a difference. I'm going to export it to the same location here. I'll just accept this default file name, but I will go ahead and change this to a TIFF file and go ahead and say save. And it's going to ask me if I want to export it or add it to the map as a new layer, and I don't. I just want to work with this in Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. And I'm going to switch back. And we can see that ArcMap has exported a couple of different files here. Uh, we've got the TIFF file, and then I've got these additional files that are world files and such. Uh, and I don't really need to work with those in my final layouts in ArcMap and Illustrator. I'm sorry, in Photoshop or Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete those right now. And there's the TIFF file that, uh, that ArcMap exported. I'm going to go ahead and open that up in Photoshop here. 
and we'll see that it at first looks completely black. And I'm not exactly sure why ArcMap displays this image one way in Photoshop and pretty much every graphics program I've tried this in uh, displays it originally in a different way. For instance, we've got this black image here and this doesn't at first glance seem all that useful. But if I were to go into our Levels menu by going to Image Adjustments Levels, and you can see that the level histogram is compressed completely into the dark area, as we expect with this image here. But if I say Auto Levels, you'll notice we get a portion of our image, and we go ahead and say OK, and the ArcMap will kind of resolve that a little bit. And that's looking pretty good. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to press Control L or Control L to get my levels back. Auto Levels one more time, and say OK. And now we can see a much better hill shade where we've got um, a lot more detail in our shadow areas, our highlights aren't blown out, we're not clipping or losing anything in our hill shade. It gives us a whole lot more detail to work with than what we were getting in ArcMap here where we have our muddy shadows and our overly bright highlights. So that's one of the ways that we can export an image from ArcMap and get to a more usable file in Photoshop.